We are just moments away from the Oscars nomination, so let's get some predictions from our experts, Chris Connolly. And two, one of the categories that, that seems to come up, a lot of people are talking about, is Best Supporting Actor. Hey, let's get some instant reaction right now. Chris, Elizabeth, what do you think so far? There are more Oscar nominations coming up, including Best Actress, Actor, and Best Picture. Stay tuned to see who will be in the running this year. And welcome back, everyone. We are in the middle of the 93rd Oscars nominations. The second round is coming up in just a moment. And, well, let's not waste any time. Let's listen in to the second round of nominations coming to us live from London. Um, you know, we got a statement we want to read from Daniel Kaluuya on his Oscar nomination. It's, quote, today I'm humble. Yeah, mm -hmm. very, very well humble said. humble statement. Without a doubt. And we'll be right back. I can make your hands clap. Nominations are in. You just heard them right here. Let's get some more instant reactions. You know, uh, I think we are back with more on the Oscars nominations with Chris Connolly and Variety's Elizabeth Wagmeister. Chris, I'll start. Chris. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what kind of history do you expect to be made this year? You know, I think very excited to have the one and only Leslie Odom Jr. on the phone with us. Congratulations. That's the only place that, that tops this. <laughs> well, one of those I, and, and I'm just curious, since we woke you up, literally we woke you up, who do you expect the next call to be from? Yeah. Since you've been on the phone with us, your phone is probably exploding yeah, exactly. in your <laughs> hand. He's yes. a great guest. You bring it every single time. Congratulations from all of us. Thank you, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Congratulations on the baby, too. That'll be bigger yeah, than any Oscar exactly. you can ever <laughs> receive. So We'll be right back, everyone. Stay with us. Congratulations to all the nominees. And if you can't get enough of the Oscars, be sure to subscribe to our... Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great Monday. See you tomorrow. And we're back now with the Donut Dipping Brothers, who are somehow rolling through this pandemic with their small business still intact. Let's take a look. You know I'm keto, but yes. you know what my biggest weakness is? No. Donuts. Donut. Are you yes. serious? So go ahead. <laughs> yes. I'm not going to do that no, to you. I'm just no. kidding. I'm kidding. Mm. Ah. So, so tempted. <laughs> but thank you all for sending yes. these over to us. And up next right here on GMA3, <laughs> embracing the A word. That's right. The niece of Vice President <laughs> Kamala Harris here on the awesomeness. Back to what you need to know, GMA3. It is the 93rd Oscars nomination day to day, and we are so lucky to have one of the nominees with us. <laughs> You know, I don't. I agree. I haven't even had a chance to go through. Uh, I know there were a couple that out for the one was obviously the key. You know, just because I've been now in the same category for best supporting actor. I mean, you know, I, I don't. <laughs> um, you know, so I I haven't yet, but I, I know I know I will in a few hours. You know, give him a call. You know, we we have to ask though. What also just the fact that this. Uh, movie, this story, uh, Fred Hampton, this is getting the attention on this stage. What does that mean to you to have an Oscar nomination is great, but this film... In the very exciting, very busy day for you. Up next right here when we come back, another big name, a step closer to dreams of... Hey, we are back here on GMA3. All the excitement bubbling over on those brand new Oscar nominations. We have some brand new Oscar nominees today. Yeah. What a big day for them. Very exciting. The star of The Sound of Metal now up for Best Actor. We have Riz Ahmed with us. Congratulations on the big news. And yes, this is your first Oscar. Oscar nomination. How are you feeling? Thank you. It feels amazing. We, we talked to so many Oscar nominees over the years. It's, it's different for everybody, it seems, yeah. and how they get the news. But as you were sitting there and hearing those nominations read in the Best Actor category, tell me how you were actually feeling. Heart racing? Were you sweating? Were your eyes closed? Were you holding your ear? What were you doing? You know, um, just this experience of making this movie was one of the most profound experiences of your life. Tell us about Ruben. Tell us about this man you play. Well, you know, it's absolute uh, pleasure to watch you, certainly, uh, in this role. But we have, uh, a lot of us have been fans of yours, been watching you for a long time and knew something like this was oh, going to come your you. way, my man. So, Riz, congratulations, and we will see you at the Oscars, my man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Much love. Appreciate the support. Well, now to the writer-director of Sound of Metal, earning a nomination not only for Best Picture, but Best Screenplay. Congratulations to Darius Martyr. We have heard a lot of stories this, on this day, but also over the years of how people find out. Some don't want to watch, and they're being superstitious. They get woken up on the West Coast by an agent or something sometimes. <laughs> but this is one of the coolest stories I have ever heard that you all shared it together. So 
what was the how, how big of a Zoom call was that? And I guess what were some of the reactions you all were having as the, they were being uh, the nominations were coming up? Led to this moment to watch that to watch you know to see Riz and and Riz who is the you know he's the first Scandinavian ever nominated. Um, my producer who put their faith in me. It was, it was just to see my... Well, enjoy it. Celebrate it today. But you might... Don't give up on the idea. You might, Darius, have some more <laughs> celebrating to do here in a little while. All right?